I've heard rumors that you're very rude. What's your thoughts? You know what? I've been saying I don't think I am, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be really honest right now. I'm not. I know I'm not. Yeah. I don't have to think about it. I'm not a rude person. I'm not an unkind or mean person. I would never go out of my way or consciously try to hurt anyone's feelings or, or make them feel bad or uncomfortable or not be professional and do my job. I like my job. But I will continue to stand up for myself, and I'm never going to stop you know, stop standing up for my right to be heard, my right to be treated respectfully and professionally in return, um, my right to draw boundaries. I, I am a strong woman and I'm not going to apologize for that. Boundaries aren't for them. They're for you. Mm -hmm. And if someone violates your boundary, you don't set another boundary. You remove yourself from the situation. The energy contagion is so real. And when watching a horse, when it's around ugly energy or energy that doesn't serve them, that's depleting or confusing, just removes itself. That was a tool that I didn't even know existed. <laughs> Yeah. Like, it didn't even occur to me you could just, like, leave uh -huh. if someone wasn't, you didn't have to keep talking, you know, just get up and go. Rule one, no second chances. They know what they did to you and they'll do it again. Set your boundaries high and walk away from anything that does not serve you. This is the top beauty tip that you're passing down to Kyle. Water. My beauty tip is water and boundaries. Nothing ages you quite like having no damn boundaries, letting people run all over you. So drink your water and say no. Create very clear boundaries. That's the best anti-aging advice I could give anybody. Really working on like calming down and just letting things flow better and not being so controlling over things, especially that I can't control. Not because I wasn't doing what I loved, but just because I was overwhelmed and I was, I felt like I was saying yes to everything because I felt really, really grateful and really honored to be in the position that I was in. So I was always saying yes. And it just took a lot out of me to the point where I just wasn't happy anymore. And so I had to set those boundaries for myself when I was about 23, 24. I really set boundaries for myself and I was like, I want to continue to do this because this is what I love. But I need to start saying no when I can and prioritizing me and prioritizing like, you know, my happiness and my well-being. Work is not your family. Calling work our family can actually be quite detrimental to our mental and emotional health without our knowing it. Doing so psychologically infers a really big blur and betrayal in our boundaries. We hear we're like family and our brain just triggers into give it everything no matter what. We sacrifice our boundaries, our time, our relationships, and we start living life in these big swings of overworking to burnout. Our job is being open and honest and sharing a lot of ourselves, and it just seems like for the past few years now, Courtney hasn't really been open about her personal life on camera. So all of the days that Courtney isn't filming, Chloe and I are picking up the slack and having to share more, because if we're not sharing our lives, then what is the show? We don't give anything. Right, I you don't post. want to share some pers so certain what, personal things. You think things. it's fair that you just post yes, things? But yes, what's yes. important to you to share and, and important, I said what's I will not share my relationship. It's nothing, I would rather That's share it. never a thing. Okay, but I shared my breakdown, crying about having anxiety. I share other things. You shared that, that happened naturally on right. camera. But I'm not like, turn the cameras off. This is so crazy. If they wanted privacy, I would never follow them or like expose them. We're all different. And this is the kind of stuff that makes me feel that they put the show over me and my well-being and protecting me and just me as a person. Confidential conversation with a bunch of other kid actors. Most of us, if not all of us, never learned that we had a voice and that we could assert our needs. So. When I see young performers now, I'm like, what would it mean for us to talk about self-advocacy? For young people to know like, hey, you can actually say, please don't touch my body that way when you put the mic pack on or, or I'll do it for you. I can do that. I know mm -hmm. how to clip, clip something on my pocket. Um, so there's just so much room to improve the system. And also I have compassion that like the system wasn't designed with kids or well-being in mind. So like, we're gonna have to rethink how we approach things. Healthy boundaries is not about you keeping other people out. If someone crosses the, your line in the sand, it's because you never made your line deep enough. 
No one can ever go further with you than you've given them permission to go. So as hard and as difficult as it is to hear, because this was hard for me to hear when I had to admit it to myself, that the way people treated me was based on how I trained them to treat me. So people were crossing your boundaries because they didn't know it was there. If people call you at odd hours of night, it's because you keep answering. If people ask you to do beyond what you're able to do, it's because you keep saying yes. If people don't ever think you need rest, it's because you act like you don't need rest. Boundaries is such an important thing for mental and emotional and relational health. A boundary is a place where I can love you and me simultaneously. Where I can be safe inside my boundary to love you as much as I can and able to without betraying myself and letting your life and your energy and your agenda overrun my boundaries. A boundary protects you. It's not about controlling them. Though they will feel your boundary is about controlling them. Never adjust your boundaries because of someone's emotional reaction to your saying no. Boundaries is don't be a dick. That's my boundary, is you can be yourself and you don't have to be who I think you should be or who I want you to be or anything that I think. Be your own self, fly your own flag, but just don't be rude hmm. and care about others. Guard your space. You cannot let toxic people get close to you. Y'all ain't saying nothing and make you feel bad cause you got boundaries. I cannot allow your negative energy to impact my life every time you talk. You got something negative to say. Every time something good happens, you always want to rain on my parade. I got to pray for some people from a distance. I love you, but I don't want you in my house. Hi, Justin. Can I get a last night? No. I'm going to I hear you, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. This is my home, you know what I mean? This is where I live, and I don't appreciate you guys being here. You guys can be anywhere else, this is my home, you know? This is where I, you know, at the end of the night, when you come home, you want to relax, this is my space to do that. When you start setting boundaries, people around you are going to get triggered. And it's because you are forcing them to self-reflect. That when we make boundaries for ourselves, that it's gonna stop the people that we love from being around us, that's not true. The boundaries that you create will just be a fence around you that's gonna keep all the pretenders and all the fake friends out of your life.